And the next fly I'm going to attempt is the Goddard Caddis. I have a size 10 dry fly hook. You can use a size 10 to size 16 to tie a Goddard Caddis. The um, standard dry fly hook. And I'm using some flat wax nylon for the uh, hair work. Tie that on. Put it right about to the barb. Put a little head cement on that. I'll keep it from spinning. This is plain old deer hair. It's a white tail. I'm going to take a clump of this. I get carried away sometimes when I'm tying um, bass flies, and I grab more than what I need for these little uh, trout flies. Now, on, on the smaller flies, I like to put the butts towards the rear of the hook. Makes it, puts a little more body in it. And I'll kind of just shove it over the hook shank. Okay. And preen that back. A little spin on my thread. A little bit of head cement. Take another little clump. Stuff likes to stick to you. Put it right out at an angle. Try to catch it. as much deer hair as you can. Preen that back. I'm going to try to leave about 3 sixteenths of an inch in this area for my hackle. That'll put a little bit more deer hair on this. thread on. You could tie the whole fly with this, leave the thread on, but I like to cut it off and uh, trim up the deer hair. Open the hook gate. Kind of roll your scissors around this guy. Got a rough shape. Get some wild and woolies there. Uh, trim it, keep it neat in the front. I want to do the, do this pinch technique again, where I want to pinch all the feathers in the back, and I'm going to just follow the curvature of my fingers. in there.
you don't need to do this, but I'm just going to take a razor blade and kind of flatten the bottom out a little bit. Sits better. Okay, now I'm going to put my um, three odd or six odd, and my thread came off. So it's a good time to show you not how to thread it. I'm just going to twist that, shove that in there. Suck it right up through there. We're back in business again. Okay, put a thread wrap on there. I'm going to take a couple of hackles, strip the bar wheels off again. If I'm doing a lot of these, I'll lay the these fibers on my leg and keep some um, from flying around. Kind of the curvature kind of stays right there. I'll put them composing each other. fairly short about the length of the hook get that so they sit right on top go got them on even Now oh, it's hackle time. Get a hackle that you like the uh, the height and the color combination. Try to match the hatch. Cut the hackle and leave a couple of stubbles out there so you can catch it with the thread. thread your uh, hackle on there. that all. I don't like to make too big of a head in here because of the antennas. Now on these I like to leave straight, straight out. You kind of dance on the water. If you want to get fancy, you can make put a little curl on them. There's a goddard cast. 